you to graph by plotting points. The biggest problem you have with this is your freedom of choice. When you're graphing by plotting points, you just choose values haphazardly. Well, sometimes with um, forethought. I can go and I can pick any values in the entire world. I don't even have to restrict myself to just X. I can pick Y values too. Ooh. So let's go through and let's pick a few. Oh boy. Let's pick X is mm, zero. That'll work for me. What about Y is equal to zero? Y is equal to zero too. Wait, if we pick X to be zero, aren't we really finding the Y intercept? And if we pick X, Y to be zero, aren't we really finding the X intercept? Yes. Let's pick another value, Y. Because we pick three? Nah, see, why do we pick three? Maybe I'll mention that in a moment. But now we need to own it. What? I need to pick another value. Anything? No, don't pick decimals. Those are hard. Don't pick fractions either. We're trying to get nice numbers. And sometimes when you're picking numbers, you want to pick the ones that are nice. Fine, I'll do it for you. Let's just pick X, B, 1. Fun. So we're completing a table of values on over here. The first value that I'm picking is x is equal to zero. Oh boy. So when x is equal to zero, where do I throw? Do that? Ah, right there. I put it into the equation. So it's two times. What's my x? Zero. Yes. And then this is plus y is equal to six. Very nice. Zero is a killer. So then y is equal to six. So then when x is 0, y is 6, and I'm going to put that right there, because that was this guy right there. And then I keep on pursuing to the next stop. The block was dead, yo, so I let y equal 0. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And I throw that into that equation. So then I have 2x plus, wait for it. Wait for it. We let y be zero, so huh, six. So now I have two. X is six. A little bit of division in our lives. So then x turns out to be three. So when y is zero, x is three, and we put that right there. When y is zero, x is three, and that's that spot right there. One more spot. Ooh, are we getting too low? Call this one shorty, because it gets low, gets low. Let's put it right here. X is equal to one. Why? I could have chose anything. I even gave you choice. Your freedom of choice, and then you were like, eh. So I chose it for you. I said let x be 1, and we're going to go and plug it right there. So we're going to get 2 times. What's my new x? Oh, I heard 1 is the new x. Yes. And then this is still plus y, and that's still equal to 6. This time it doesn't kill. This time it's 2. Oh, plus y. Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, so now you got to get rid of the friends. So I subtracted 2, I subtracted 2, ooh. So then y turns out to be 4, sure. So when x is 1, y is 4, and you put that there, 4, sure. But why are we doing this? Why are we making a table of values? The direction to ask us, to graph by plotting points. But what points? I don't see any points. I see ordered pairs. I see a correspondence relationship. This x, that y. This x, that y. This x, that y. So then why do we do three points? One's a checkpoint. What are you talking about? If you graph your points and they line up like that, that means you messed up. And you need to check your work. Let's see if we need to check our work on this guy. My first point is 0, 6. Ooh, that's 0 in the x direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. And then 3, 0. That's 3 in the x direction. And up 0. And then our checkpoint, 1, 4. Our checkpoint, 1, 4. 1, 4. Bam. No, I'm not using graph paper, but it looks like they lie on the straight line. You're just going to stand there and watch me burn? You just love the way they lie. So then, once you have all three of those, then you connect the dots, la 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 la, connect the dots. <laughs> there was supposed to be a freaking flower.
but it turned into a, a golf club. Because I'm looking for another one. Thank you.